Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss that what are the advantages of wardrobe designs and what are the best materials to make wardrobes. And later, we will discuss the estimate price for making the wardrobes. So friends, subscribe to our channel. Like and share this video. So let's continue to the video. In this video, some wardrobe design options along with their estimated price ranges. First one is the modular wardrobes. It's customizable units with shelves, drawers and hanging space. Price is starting from 20,000 to high end price is 80,000. And second one is the built-in wardrobes. It's tailored to fit specific space provide to the seamless look. Price is starting from 30,000 to 150,000 is the high end price. So friends, another one is the sliding door wardrobes. It's very popular now. It's space efficient designs with sliding doors often with the mirrors. Price is starting 25,000 to the 1 lakh. And freestanding wardrobes are the stand alone units that can be moved available in various styles. It's really suitable for who is staying dented house. This is very suitable for and this price is the 15,000 to 60,000. But it's not more strong. When you buy the home that time you build anything wardrobes like um, hing wardrobes are sliding wardrobes you make for your house you, you don't use long life for the freestanding wardrobes and the uh, next one is the walk-in wardrobes this is the large and dedicated space with expensive storage option this price is starting only 50,000 to the 2 lakhs 50,000 because it's very high price and next one is the vintage and antique wardrobes. This classic designs made from solid wood and integrated tiling. This price is starting from 20,000 to the 150,000. And another one is the open wardrobes. This is minimalistic designs that showcase clothes without doors. That means this is the 10,000 to start and 40,000 because it's there is no doors. So it's not much more expensive. But it's not looking very much of good. This is used for uh, usually in shops. And next one is the factors including price, material, quality of food and MDF can be significant effect cost. And customization tailor designs are usually pricer. And brand and premium brands may be charged more or more quality and design. And price is... Um, its location prices can vary based on regional markets and labor cost. When selecting wardrobes, can consider both functionality and design to suit your space and style. So, my best suggestion is that you can make for your house sliding wardrobes or hing wardrobes. And another one, one is the um, built wardrobes. Any one, it's three or best options you can choose from this. The best materials for wardrobes depends on factors like durability, aesthetic and budget. Here are some are the most common using wardrobe materials. First one is the plywood, strong and durable, resistant to the wrapping and ideal for both modular and custom wardrobes. Second one is the MDF that means medium density fiber board. Smooth finishes, easy to paint or laminates. This is cost effective but less durable than the plywood. And third one is the particle board. This is affordable and lightweight but less sturdy. But it's budget friendly option. And fourth one is the solid board. High durability and timeless appeal. Expensive and required maintenance but long life. You can use this. And fifth one is the laminates, available in various designs and finishes, resistant to the scratches, often used for cover, MDF or plywood. And sixth one is the metal, it's used in industrial style wardrobes, offering to the modern look. Durable, easy to clean but can be heavy. And seventh one is the glass, 
and often used for sliding doors for decorative panels added elegance but requires carefully handling because it's very carefully you handle when you are using it and when selecting the materials consider factors like climate uses and design preferences to ensure the wardrobe meets your needs so friends eight types of wardrobes we will see this video so first one is the hing wardrobe second one is the sliding wardrobe third one is the free standing wardrobe fourth one is the customized wardrobe and fifth one is the glass wardrobe sixth one is the walk-in wardrobe and seventh one is the l-shaped wardrobe eighth one is the laminated wardrobe first we went we will know the the most frequent used furniture piece in your bedroom after the bed is your wardrobe so friends first one is the hang door wardrobe it's being to the extent sing sages this is the conventional wardrobe design which is the most of indian homes stick to and this kind of wardrobe the shutter on the door is attached to the closet with strong hangers and hence it's get the name hang door wardrobe the biggest advantages of this wardrobe is the shutters can swing wide wardrobe to the openly outwards to the 19 degrees angles it's enjoyable full view of the closet which is tons makes sporting find easy things and another one is the free standing wardrobe this wardrobe had the perfect choice for who's often change their overall home layout or who shift the entire home frequently due to work life or travel life anything else with freestanding wardrobes the space for storing does not lie and only inside for wardrobes but also above the years if you have high ceiling in your bedroom these wardrobes can provide you with some extra storing space above its roof and another one is the sliding door wardrobe this is the contemporary wardrobe design which most of the modern elites option for has sliding doors that slide from slide and side side along with the metal racks fixed to the top of the bottom of the wardrobe and it's not reliant on hangings or holding its doors has their door slides and horizontally they offer to the biggest advantages of space saving idea but it's not taking up the room front of them besides this kind of wardrobes also does not hinder traffic flow in the rooms so this wardrobe doesn't work well the small and confined spaces and another one is the walk-in wardrobe when you have a luxury of space you can take your bedroom to the next level of sophistication with the walk-in wardrobes this wardrobe provides sufficient space for storing all your items from uh, shoes to the jewelry collection without making witness those overflowing drawers and priming racks by incorporating versatile and shelving option to innovate your storage option and another one is the customized wardrobe does your bedroom have nooks and crannies want you to convert them into the functional space then turn to the toilet model closet they can be turned over the tiniest corner of your bedroom into highly workable space for your accessories and belongings and they are almost great choice when you don't want to the compromise with even single factor in your wardrobe design based to the number of shelves inside the wardrobe or sort of outer appearance Sometimes you might want your wardrobe to be more than just storing your accessories like holding your dresser units or to unit etc in such cases to the custom made wardrobes work well the best So friends if you like this video please subscribe to our channel like and share it thank you for watching Wardrobes are essential furniture pieces designed for storing clothes accessories and personal items they comes in various styles and configurations and ranging from free standing units to built in designs and can be customized to fit specific space and needs and wardrobes have evolved from simple chest and almorias 
into multifunctional storage solution that blend practically with aesthetic appeal. Today they often to include few charts such as shelves, drawers and hanging roads, enhancing organization and accessibility. In modern interior wardrobes not only serve functional purpose but also contribute to the overall decor.